Hey, what is up, viewers? It's your boy Executor back again, bringing you something a little bit different on the channel today. This is a brand new game we're bringing on the channel. This is going to be Auto Ban Police Simulator 2. I gotta say, man, I'm super excited to play this game. This is a police roleplay game. Yes, sir. We're gonna dive right into it. Oh, man, I haven't played one of these games before. I've always seen these kind of games around the net and stuff. And um, I finally am able to play it. And I'm, I'm super excited, man. I ain't gonna lie. So, need to set up our character here. Um... What are the options? Uh, we have some presets. Um, I'm just gonna stick with this guy. Yeah, this guy looks more like it. I just need to change his hairstyle. Continue. Skin color. And this is fully controller supported. So if you guys hate using the keyboard and mouse as myself, you can just use your PS4 controller or your Xbox 360 or your xbox one controller they do work a hundred percent all right so let me find a hairstyle for this guy whoa we got freaking sanford and son up in here man what is this oh look at this shit bro ah damn they did this boy dirty man all right let's see what else is there ah hey this guy looks like rajit long stocking man <laughs> nah i don't want that one all right, well, it looks like, looks like we're going to go with this one. Your color. Well, we have no hair. Beard. Yeah, let me see what beard options are there. Whoa, that's some crazy beards, bro. All right, you know what? I'm going to stick with this one for the time being. Um, I'm not going to mess with anything else. Everything else looks okay. The eye color. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with this eye color here. Nose. I'm not going to go too in-depth, but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of things you can actually do. You can change the lip size, the upper lip, lower lip, the whole works. Your ears, your jaw, chin. The whole works guys this is really in depth i'm 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 actually surprised that this is in depth like this like there's so many customization options you can actually um dive into but i'm not really um gonna mess with too much i think that's gonna be it um chest oh let me find some um <clears throat> clothing for my guy Let's put on something nice. Ah, uh, this looks nice. Upper body variation. Ah, uh, maybe we go with this um orange lower body. Nah, let me go with the jeans. Can't go wrong with the jeans, man. Let me get the blue. Yeah. Hat. Oh. <laughs> You only have two options for the hat. I'm, I'm not going with any hats right now. Shoes. Uh, let me rock this sneaker. Yeah. Looks looks pretty, um you know, casual, comfortable clothing. Shoes variant. Red, blue. I see I rock with the blue. Yeah, this blue looks alright. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of looks like my kind of style here. Alrighty, let's go play with this character. Continue. Let's get it, man. I'm super excited, man. Um, that customization option, though, like that, that's a lot of um, options. <clears throat> I just goes to show you how in depth this game is. Alright, play introduction. Yes, we're gonna play introduction. Tutorials, basics of running. Press L stick to walk and R stick to look around. You can run with the right trigger. Press A to interact with people or objects. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. Hello. How can I help you? I'd like to see Mr. Becker. He's the boss around here. Perhaps you can make do with rank and file workers first. No. 
and I know he's the boss. That's exactly why I want to talk to him. Who do you think you are? And this guy looks like you gotta fucking stick up his ass, man. Fuck him, bro. I'm your new colleague, and I have an appointment with your boss. Does he know how you behave around here? Okay, okay. No harm meant. I'm sorry. Someone could have told me that you were starting here today. I'll open the door for you. To find the boss, go up the stairs, and then left. Bitch ass. That's what I thought. Alright. Let's go see Mr. Becker. Alright, we got some officers over there discussing some plans or whatever. Alright, here we go, Mr. Becker. Hey, what's up, Chief? Ah, so you're Mr. Schmidt? Yes, that's me. It's a pleasure. You're ten minutes late. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I got stuck in a traffic jam, you see, and your uh, colleague at reception. That doesn't interest me. I tell everyone this. You have a dangerous job. Anything can happen at any time on the Autobahn. And you're going to be spending a large part of your life in your patrol car from now on. I do not tolerate negligence. Do your job properly and don't act the hero. Then we won't have any problems. Understood? Understood, Mr. Becker. All right. Welcome to the force. And before you start, go and see Miss Holt. Her office is next door. She is responsible for press and public relations here. If anything goes wrong here, she's the one who sorts it out for us. I hope you have no need to make use of her talents, but I think you should introduce yourself, just in case. Thank you, Mr. Becker. I will do. Alrighty. Let's go and talk to Miss Roth. Hey, what's up, sweet thing? Hello, and welcome to our station. Hello, Mrs. Hort. Were you expecting me? No, no, but the wall isn't all that thick. <laughs> ah, so you'll have heard that I didn't get off to such a great start. Don't worry about it. Roland's like that. He's really strict and up and out, but he only means well. Besides, you still got off quite lightly. I've had far worse first meetings through the wall. Thanks. For what? You're the first friendly face I've seen around here. Don't worry, there are more of us. Now you'd better go to the changing room on the ground floor and get changed. You'll find your partner there too. His name is Hans Haas. You don't just want to spend your first day chit-chatting, right? Of course not. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go get suited up. Put on your uniform. Let's go. Let's see what's over here. Alright, uh, this is locked. Oh, that's actually the female's um, changing room. Okay, here we go. Change clothing, put on casual clothes, put on uniform. Boom. Yes, sir. We are now ready to patrol. Oh, yeah. See what I got. I got my... Um, looks like my gun handcuffs extra magazine billy club and flashlight all righty let's do it hey what's up boy so you're the rookie i'm hans your partner pleased to meet you yeah likewise we'll have enough time to talk in the car so let's get going the patrol car is in the yard you can drive it's nice to be chauffeured around at my age Alrighty. Um, where do we go? Yes, sir. Let's do it. New mission: the first ride. Let's go, baby. You got a freaking BMW, man. Like this is what this is old police um patrol in Europe, bro. This is shit we talking about, man. Where's the guy? Okay, here we go. Alright, press L, left trigger to brake or reverse, press right trigger to accelerate, blue light up on the D-pad, siren up and up again. Okay. 
If you cause accidents through reckless or uncontrolled driving, the chaos factor increases. If it reaches 100%, your current mission will be aborted and restarted from the last save point. Alright. Pretty basic stuff. And you can also switch from first person to third person. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to third person, because that's easier. Alright, we need to go over here, I guess. Okay, reach your destination. This is a red light. Do the lights actually work? I don't know. Calling all emergency vehicles. Since our team of plain clothes officers have fallen ill, we need a replacement. Who can take this on? Car four here. We'll do it. Chasing speeders in comfortable clothes. I gotta say this scenery looks awesome actually um uh I'm having trouble hearing this guy on the radio so let me see if I can um mess with the options see dialogue needs to go up effects need to go a little bit down music can go down alrighty make sure i don't back into somebody yes sir let's do it man so we need to reach our destination I guess we're just cruising. Emergency vehicles. As you know, a famous head of state is using a short section of our autobahn. We need one more vehicle for the escort. Car 11 here. We will volunteer. Should we get you an autograph? No thanks, uh, just the escort. Roger, we're on our way. Handling it is a little is a little bit um crazy. Obviously it's not as um fluid as Grand Theft Auto. But um it's 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 manageable. Let me just um, set the lights on. Uh, it's glitching out a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, did we cause an accident just now? Uh, okay, you know what? Let me... Um, let me move the car a little bit out talk to this lady real quick and see what's her problem looks like she got a flat well she got a busted tire good afternoon what's happened here can't you see the tire is flat how did that happen there was a board with nails in it i only saw it at the very last moment and drove over it have you called a towing service Yes, they're on their way. Okay, please step behind the crash barrier and wait for the breakdown vehicle. I'll take care of the board full of nails. Yes, will do. Thank you. Alrighty, we need to get this board full of nails. Okay, it's over here. Probably shouldn't run on this side of the road. Can't 
Can I jump? I don't think I can jump. It's kind of weird that I can't jump. All right, let's pick up this board of nails. Okay, so this is the culprit. I'll remove it. Alrighty. New mission, welcome to our... So we unlocked a new mission. We need to drive back to the station. Seeing that we're on a highway, we need to go up and then come down. All right, let's go, bro. I don't know. I can't look. Okay, there you go. Normally on GTA, it's a right stick to look behind. But it's um, the left stick on here. Alrighty, so we need to head up on this ramp. Attention all emergency vehicles. There's a pursuit underway. Multiple officers are pursuing a wanted escapee with a warrant for his arrest. All available emergency vehicles, please respond. Alright, we're at a red light. Um... Car 4 here. Send us the vehicle data. We'll get the guy. Here's the information. Be careful and don't overdo it. I'm gonna draw I'm gonna try and drive as um, best as possible. We got a red light. Oh yeah. Pretty nice um scenery, I ain't gonna lie. Please come in. Car two here. What's up? Accident in your vicinity. A tanker has collided with two lorries. The tanker is apparently lying on its side and losing its liquid cargo. Great. That means we'll have to change clothes after this. That is quite possible, car two. Then today is our lucky day. What kind of liquid cargo is it anyway? Whole milk. Do we have time to grab some biscuits? Negative, car two. Still having trouble hearing the guy over the radio, so um, let's see if I can fix that. Effects. Yeah, I really need to be able to hear. Um, the radio. Alrighty. <laughs> Yeah, this should be it. Alright, so we need to head back to the station. It's 2.2 kilometers. Car 11, this is dispatch. Please come in. Car 11 here. What's up, dispatch? Just sent you some coordinates. Drive to the rest stop. There's a vehicle on fire there. The fire service has already been alerted. Roger, dispatch. We're nearly there. Yeah, the handling is a little bit crazy. Just a little bit. Dispatch, please come in. Car 11 here. What's up, Car 11? The fire is under control. Our colleagues from the fire service are taking care of it. The owner of the vehicle claims that his fuel gauge was defective and he wanted to check the fuel level using a match. Oh, man. Alrighty, so we were at the station. Red light. You've unlocked your first fast travel station. These are placed all over the world. All of these locations can be used on a map while the game is paused. Okay. Dispatch, please come in. Car two here. Yeah? 
What's up, Carlton? The driver of a suspicious vehicle is resisting the traffic check. It is a white coupe. We sent you the number plate. We are in pursuit and are moving north. Copy, car two. I will notify cars in the vicinity. According to the computer, the white coupe is a stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. Roger, dispatch. Alrighty. So it says go to my workspace. Alrighty. Pretty good, pretty good so far. It's fun, you know, we just you know learning the ropes of things. So I guess this is gonna be my desk. Alright, tech tree here you can spend the influence points you have earned each of these expansions bring you various benefits which have an impact on your vehicles the police station or personal characteristics now activate the traffic system this allows the vehicle moving in front of you to be measured okay okay good shit good shit good shit all righty um see what's going on emergency vehicle traffic system do you really want to buy traffic system for 250 experience points yes i do all right emergency vehicle oh this is five thousand that's five grand bro shit so as you can see you can upgrade your vehicle so right now we have an emergency vehicle all right we can upgrade performance upgrade one five thousand Perform performance upgrade 2 is going to be 7.5 no it might maybe 7.5 up from this or 7.5 overall actually it may be 7.5 overall and then performance upgrade 3 is going to be 10,000 experience points oh i can actually um upgrade my civilian vehicle as well that's nice that's actually cool like you go off duty and um live your civilian life that's pretty cool safety vehicle all right okay so you see there's there's stuff to do mobile speed camera set up the speed camera in a suitable location collect valuable influence points all right all right i can feel it and you have level two level three traction one improves the traction of the vehicle fleet by five percent okay yeah okay so i see what's going on so this is why the car is handling um a little bit wonky so i guess when i upgrade the traction the handling will be improved significantly and also this is the station coffee machine you can buy a coffee machine improves improves the atmosphere i guess if i buy this the freaking guy downstairs won't act like he got a fucking stick broken in his ass anymore um archive a room full of books and files really old school haha <laughs> yeah right computer evaluation video room enables the evaluation of recordings in order to find wanted vehicles okay additional workspaces additional workspace for more police officers conference room helipad evidence room shooting range whoa that's that should be exciting um training Police intuition, police intuition two. Reduces the cooldown time it can be used again by ten seconds. Oh, so this is like a, a sixth sixth sense where um you enable this and you react to things more um intuitively. Speed training, bonus speed on foot, okay, bulletproof vest, bulletproof vest two. Okay, so there's a lot of things you can actually um do. So a whole lot of things you can actually do all right well um switch to night shift they want me to switch to night shift so oh i guess okay i need to actually log in oh yo this shit is so cool guys like this is a real police simulator tutorial times of days here you can change the time of day in the world by jumping to the respective shift at this as the station is not fully occupied at all times of day this can be quite useful no start and night shift okay 
Uh, so we have morning shift, night shift, day shift. Alrighty. Switch to night shift. Let's see what's going on. No, we need to go and patrol. See what's up with these guys. Alrighty, let's go do it. Let's let's go do our job. The camera gets a little bit clunky at times, but um all in all all in all it's a it's a great experience so far. Alright, here we, we got our partner over here again. Hey what's up bro? You ready man? Let's go do this fucking graveyard shift up in here bro. Let's do it. Rolling in a fucking BMW. Yeah, I'm keeping it to um third person. It's the handling is a lot better in third person. Where do we need to go? Okay, so no, I realize that it won't always um give you the exact um directions vehicle action menu press lb to open the vehicle action menu here you can activate a matrix board as well as speed and distance measurements while driving okay you can manipulate traffic using a matrix board please stop for example brings the vehicle in front of you to stand still in order to conduct a traffic inspection you can also leave you can also close one lane or even the entire autobahn to measure the speed of the vehicle in front of you and the distance it is maintaining, you must keep it in an area displayed for a certain period of time. On the left, you will see what percentage of the measurement has been completed. It must meet 100% for a usable measurement. Alright, so we need to measure this car in front of us. See what speed he's going at. while not freaking crashing into him car 11 here headquarters here the mess has been cleared up the section of the autobahn is free again and we're bringing you back a teddy bear all right so we lost um focus on this guy so let's see if we can actually do it again it's a bit tricky um you know because you, you got to be careful not to crash in his um, rear. Yeah, you see how he's, he's brake checking me there. So, I mean, it, it takes a little bit of skill. All right. So. Car 11, please come in. Car 11 here. Conduct a general traffic control. Okay. Two lorries are involved. As far as we know, there are no casualties, but there is cargo in the road. All right, so we need to use the um, the thing on top of the um, sirens right here. So we need to um, tension count. All right, uh, I don't think that's the one. Signals, matrix board. Please stop. All right. So let me uh at least one of the two lorries was loaded with teddy bears. Dispatch, could you repeat that please? It sounded like you just said teddy bears. Uh, that is correct. Okay, we'll be right there and we'll take a look. Alrighty. Oh. That's why I came out like this. inspect the vehicle um okay so inspect the vehicle all right this guy got some um ladies shoes and he got some wine milk well doesn't look suspicious it looks like he's just um going home to his old lady all right introduction of to traffic control traffic control tax paper alcohol and drug check interior and boot check dialogue with the driver signs suggest which actions should be taken if you act arbitrarily this will show negatively in the final report hello hello 
Alrighty. Show me your license and registration, please. Thank you. I'll have a look. All right, document check. With a document check, you can determine whether the driver or vehicle ensure match the vehicle. You should only check things that don't match up. All right, to do this, select the two elements that you want to check. One white line shows that shows you that everything is correct. A red one, on the other hand, reveals a discrepancy. All righty, so... All right, vehicle category, name... <clears throat> all right how do i do it okay there we go all right so i'm checking for this guy photo looks like him vehicle category all right um so this is the motor vehicle registration license plate is gonna be okay vehicle category b car model spider x2 <laughs> it's a spider look at the um look at the thing up here this is like a spider-man logo that's kind of crazy all right so expiry date is gonna be 10 6 18 and we're at um 16 4 17 so this is good name becker so the vehicle is registered to this guy becker hands and um yeah what's this thing up here so this is the date okay spider x2 okay so it's basically just showing me all right let me ask him if he was drinking and stuff have you been drinking of course i haven't had anything to drink Alrighty. Have you taken any drugs? No, absolutely not. I, I mean, <laughs> I have no reason to um really um I have to give you a warning, but don't let this happen again. Vehicle control evaluation. Zero of one violations detected. A warning was incorrectly delivered. Overall rating. 100 out of 600. Missing first aid kit. Oh, the fuck am I supposed to know you got a first aid? Like, this is freaking what? Germany, bro. How do am I going to know you have to have a first aid kit in your car? Okay. Tutorial finished introduction. Congratulations, you have finished the introduction. Now you can explore the world and play missions in free play mode or begin the story mode. To do this, you should drive back to the police station, talk to your boss, Roland Becker, who has an important task for you. Alrighty guys, so that was our introduction. Um we kind of messed up at the end right there. We didn't um recognize he didn't have a first aid kit in his car. Which um I I didn't know you were it's mandatory to have one of those in your car, but you know it's Germany, so oh well. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this gameplay of Autobahn Police Simulator 2. Um, let me know if you want to see more of it. I'm actually enjoying it, to be honest. I'm actually excited to keep going. So, guys, please go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. And uh, Mr. your boy Executor, I'm a dip on order here. I will catch you in the next video. Y'all stay safe, man. Peace.